black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what is up? What is good with y'all? Welcome to a breakfast sandwich extravaganza. Also, Merry Christmas Eve. Today we have a pour up. We're having breakfast. It is Christmas Eve today. Uh, this is in the morning. I'm having this and then I have Christmas dinner later tonight. So this should hold me over till then. Uh, I'm splurging a bit today, craving this. And then we have a Christmas dinner. We have to partake. Anyways, we actually have a pour up today. We're having some OJ. So before we do anything more, we must papa. Papa, it's been a while since we papa had. Let's pour it. So we got our glass of ice here. We got our no pulp or low pulp. OJ, it's a no pulp. We don't really do pulp around here. We have the ice maker in the background making a ruckus. A little citrus face. It's actually not that tart which is good. Okay. Catch up. Gravy. And some tots for dipping, but the thing we have to get to most is this perfect, beautiful, we had one egg stay intact. And then we had one egg that was cracked. But these breakfast sandwiches are going to be crack. Speaking of crack. All right. This should ooze everywhere, I do believe, but we'll find out. Hmm. Seems like In the meantime, the yolk kind of solidified up a bit. Still all good though. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, oh, Mr. Hoodie, sir, what is this horseradish mayo mustard on a breakfast sandwich. I'm telling you, it's 
so good. Better than ketchup. Better than salsa. It lends the sharp cuts through all the salty fattiness that's happening. Between the ham, the bacon, the egg, the cheese. It gives that cut. It's amazing. <sighs> Haven't had orange juice in forever. All right, my version of uh, hash browns in the form of a tater tot. <laughs> and we got gravy. Excuse me. And catchy. So I got up at the butt crack of dawn and I went to the grocery store as soon as it opened. But I got there before the bread truck. So all English muffins sold out. I went to three more places before I finally was able to get my hands on English muffins. All other bread and buns seemingly in stock, tortillas, everything. Turns out English muffins are way more popular than I could have ever anticipated. They just sold out everywhere. That may be because <clears throat> Christmas, like morning's coming around. I feel like a lot of people have English muffins. You have Christmas breakfast. So you probably have English muffin. That's my guess. But anyways, it is Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas Eve to you or whatever it is that you celebrate or maybe you don't celebrate. I don't know what you do, but you just enjoy whatever it is that you do. I'm going to be having Christmas dinner, like I said. We, however, have decided to go non-traditional. Not do turkey. <clears throat> We're doing surf and turf Christmas. Steak, lobster, and sides. And you all know me, I'll just be having steak. No lobster for this guy. I'd be intrigued to know what your traditions are. One that I used to love in our family was you get to open one present. 
Christmas Eve, like at night, before bed, just to hold you over until the morning, to keep the excitement at bay. My apologies, I had just finished the end of that sandwich and I didn't realize that my camera had uh, reached its memory capacity, so sorry for the end of that sandwich. <laughs> but like I was saying, um, it was always so tempting to open a bigger present at night. And any time that I did, it always ended up being like a t-shirt with a pair of like Joe Boxer sleep pants or something from Sears. Like, you know how they have those kind of bigger boxes? Not to hit on pajamas, but like you were kind of hoping for something better. Gaming system. But if you got one of those, that was definitely a Santa gift. But yeah, that was probably one of my favorite things about Christmas Eve was uh, getting, getting to open one ahead of time. All right, incredible little breakfast cook. I promise you, if you try these sandwiches, you're going to be like, yeah, it's hard to go back once you try this. Very, very good. All right. Merry Christmas Eve. Hope you have a good time tomorrow with your people if you celebrate. And uh, if not otherwise, hope you still have a nice time in life. Okay? Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.